Did you know that not only darts players, but also fans can be banned for their entire lives? You may not see it often, but it happens almost every tournament. Today, we take you through all these absurd moments during darts matches. During week 8 of the Premier League in Glasgow, a disgusting incident took place that shocked the darts world. Phil Taylor, one of the greatest darts players of all time, was on his way to the stage to face Raymond Van Barneveld when a spectator spat at him, hitting him in the ear. PDC Chief Barry Hearn was quick to condemn the incident, calling the behaviour of the person responsible disgraceful. He also confirmed that the culprit was removed from the Scottish Exhibition and Conference Centre immediately after the incident and would not be allowed to attend any future darts events. In an interview with The Sun, Hearn expressed his disappointment that such a despicable act had taken place in an otherwise positive and lively atmosphere. He emphasised that kicking out troublemakers was the best way to deter such behaviour and maintain a safe and enjoyable environment for all fans. Taylor himself was understandably upset by the incident and expressed his disappointment that one fan had tried to spoil the show for everyone else. Despite this, he went on to beat Van Barneveld 7-3 in the match. Back in 2012, during the Players' Championship Finals at Butlin's Minehead, a bizarre incident took place. Nathan Grindle, an Australian who had emigrated to Oxford, was watching the final match between Phil Taylor and Kim Hoibex when the crowd started to loudly chant Jesus at him. The chants got so loud and widespread that they began to distract the players and Grindle was eventually removed from the arena by six security guards. As Grindle left the arena, the chants continued with many fans rising from their seats and shouting, Stand up if you love Jesus. The 33 year old labourer was taken to a nearby bar where he was given a pint and allowed to watch the final on TV. However, he was far from happy with the situation, stating that he felt bullied and picked on by the crowd. Grindle also felt that he was discriminated against as the security guards made a big fuss about getting him out of the arena. After the game, he signed autographs with his real name and not Jesus. The PDC stated that they want everyone to have a good time at their events and they do not want one fan to become a problem for the players and affect play. Despite the incident, Grindle went to the Alexander Palace for the World Championships just a few weeks later and was not kicked out. He even posed for photos with many fans and the chant started again, but not as loudly. A year after, Grindle decided to attend the same tournament at Butlin's Minehead again, paying a hefty £450 for the tickets. However, when he went to collect his tickets, he was dragged into the office by two security guards, one of whom was the head of security. They informed him that he wouldn't be allowed to watch the darts that year and ordered him to pack up and leave by 2pm. Grindle was understandably upset and requested compensation for missing work and the cost of petrol for the 280 mile round trip. He also didn't want to drink and drive, so he was forced to sit in his room for four hours with security guards standing guard at his door. Feeling discriminated against because of his appearance, Grindle expressed his disappointment, stating that he believed the situation could have been handled better. As an adult, he believed that he deserved to be treated with more respect and not judged based on his resemblance to the Son of God. Grindle, who has survived skin cancer twice, started growing his beard in 2012 to hide scars. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. It was the 2017 PDC World Darts Championship Final at Alexandra Palace in London and the atmosphere was electric as Michael Van Gerwen took on Gary Anderson for the coveted Sid Waddle Trophy. But the excitement turned to chaos when a darts fan known as Lee Marshall or Disco Boy managed to evade security and lift the trophy from its plinth before being tackled by security and rushed off stage. The incident shocked the darts world and led to a lifetime ban for Marshall, who was later revealed to be part of a YouTube group called Troll Station. The group had put out a video claiming responsibility for the stunt, which was just one of several high profile incidents they had been involved in. In 2014, Troll Station disrupted a Europa League match between Tottenham and Partizan Belgrade at White Hart Lane by managing to get onto the pitch three times. The incident led to disciplinary action against Spurs by UEFA and at one point, the referee took the players off the pitch for 10 minutes. But the group's most infamous incident was a fake heist at the National Portrait Gallery in London in 2015, which resulted in four members being sentenced to a total of 72 weeks behind bars for using threatening or abusive words and causing fear of unlawful violence. 
The incident caused widespread panic and confusion, with visitors and staff fearing for their safety. The 2017 darts final incident was another example of Troll Station's reckless behaviour, and it left a sour taste in the mouths of players and fans alike. Van Gerwen, who went on to win the final 7-3 and claim his second world title, expressed his disappointment with the incident, saying, That was a bit sad. You always get people like that who try to be funny. He's not allowed to do that, and he probably won't see another darts match in his life. Then, the individuals handed a lifetime ban from all matchroom sports events, while the group claimed that the security personnel had committed assault as one of them sustained an injury that required medical attention at a hospital. The incident also highlighted the importance of security at major sporting events and the need for measures to prevent such incidents from happening in the future. Despite the disruption, the 2017 final was a thrilling and memorable occasion for darts fans, with Van Gerwen cementing his status as one of the sport's greatest players with a dominant performance. It was the second round of the 2019 World Championship and all eyes were on the world number one, Michael Van Gerwen, as he stepped up to face Alan Tavern. It was a crucial match for Van Gerwen, who was looking to secure his third world title, but the start of the match was marred by an incident that had nothing to do with the players themselves. As Tavern made his way onto the stage for his walk-on, everything seemed to be going as planned. But when it was Van Gerwen's turn to be announced, a fan in the sold-out Alexandra Palace threw a pint of beer all over him. Van Gerwen and the security guards standing next to him were both drenched in beer, and the match had to be delayed as a result. The man responsible for the incident was immediately thrown out of the arena, but the damage had already been done. Van Gerwen had to go backstage to change into a new shirt, and the delay disrupted his focus and preparation for the match. It was a frustrating and disappointing experience for the Dutchman, who had never encountered anything like it before. I never had this in my life, you know? Van Gerwen said in a post-match interview. I didn't know how to react. I was so angry. But when I said, because what can you do? You know what I mean? You can't do anything. And the only thing I could do is change my shirt, wash my hands. It was all over drinks. Overall, man. The incident raised questions about the security measures in place at PDC events. Normally, fans are not allowed to have drinks around the walk on runway to prevent exactly this kind of thing from happening. But in this case, the security failed to detect the beer the fan was holding and it led to a highly unfortunate situation. Despite the disruption, Van Gerwen managed to stay focused and went on to win the match 3-1 on his way to securing his third world title victory. But the fan responsible for the incident was banned from PDC darts events for the rest of his life. It was a severe punishment, but one that underscored the seriousness of the incident and the need to ensure that players are protected from unruly behaviour by fans. For Van Gerwen, the incident was a reminder of the importance of concentration and focus in professional darts. We throw darts with our hands, so every little different feeling on the hands gives you a totally different feeling, he said. Now what's quite difficult, and I was a little bit emotional because I thought, what happens here? But I'm glad I won this game. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. See you next time.